Hi, sorry about that. That was my son disturbing me. He's at home from college. So he's been hoovering upstairs amazingly. So he just came down, put it away, and said hello. So, yeah, as I was saying, this is Sting's book called Broken Music, and it basically charts his early period. So, that should be interesting to sort of read. Uh, next up is uh, another record I bought. This is Stephen Steele's Manassas. Uh, the reason I bought this, it was called Down, Down the Road. Uh, the reason I bought this was I went to see a concert recently, Birds of a Feather, which is Chris Robinson and Rich Robinson from the Black Crows. And they did just, a, just the two of them acoustic set. And on their last Black Crows album, they did a song called So Many Times, which actually at the time I didn't realise was a cover. And they played it that night. It made me sort of look into it. As they said, it was a cover written by Chris Hillman, who's in this band as well. And so I sort of found out it was on this album, went into my local record shop. And uh, he had it in there. And again, it was like I said, this guy at record shops bought this collection. And this is sort of one of the ones that they've put out recently with a sort of original insert with all the lyrics and everything. So yeah, so that was a nice sort of pick up and it's nice music as well, which helps. Um, this is another one that I picked up. This is Alice Cooper and it's called Love It To Death. I didn't sort of know sort of Alice Cooper particularly. I know the song schools out like everybody else probably. Uh, so I sort of looked it up. I saw it in the record shop, didn't buy it, looked it up. And basically for their first five albums, the band was Alice Cooper. And then the band split up, and then the main sort of guy that we all know was Alice Cooper. That one there took on the name, and, but then he was on his own. It was a solo project after that. So basically, his first the sort of first five albums, I think it is, are supposed to be sort of slightly better. And this is one, and it sort of looks like that on the inside, and the record comes out there it's quite weird but yeah this is actually wasn't too bad and actually it's got the song on it I'm 18 which is the song there's my book and Sex Pistols which supposedly Johnny Rotten sang when he was auditioning for the Sex Pistols so yeah so it's nice to get that um, <coughs> next up is this one OMD this is organisation. You should know, all know this one. It's got Anola Gay. This is the big song on this one. And I got this for 99p at the charity shop. Oh yeah, it's really good. I actually saw them last year. I think it was for the first time. And they were absolutely brilliant. Really enjoyed them. Oh yeah. Uh, next up is this one. This is Dark Side of the Moon by Pink Floyd. I'm not sure I'll show you that side, it looks nicer. It was basically my record shop, they always have a pound bin. They always have sort of good stuff on there. And I thought, okay, well the cover's not nice, but the record plays fine. So, yeah, <coughs> that was really nice. And the next one up, I'm just going to find something else. Hang on a minute. I bought this as well from the record shop which is Elvis Presley's first album and this is actually a French copy as you can see from the top on the name Face 2 Stereo so yeah that was a nice and I actually went to the cover of this with the writing it was copied by The Clash on their album London Calling and I went to see 
an exhibition at the London Museum recently with Joe about that, which was really good. And that was sort of partly why I sort of bought this record so I could have the two together. So yeah, so that's it for the moment. Hope everybody's doing well. Keep safe, wash your hands as they say, and uh, speak to you all soon. Bye.